Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short video I'm going to be showing you how to make this cool shadow effect that you can apply any colour to and we can start with any words. We're going to be creating this directly in PowerPoint. So let's get into it. So the first thing we'll do is go to File New and Blank. Layout, Blank. Now we're going to create our text. And I'm just going to write Shadow. I'm going to make it 100 point and Montserrat bold. And now align it to the middle. Now the part that you might think you can't do in PowerPoint, but there is a way. So we're going to make the long shadow by selecting this and pressing Ctrl D to duplicate. Now we have to carefully drag this back so it snaps on top. There we go. Now we have to press the down arrow once and the right arrow once. And that's very subtle, but it's basically moved it down one pixel and across one pixel. Now, if you press Ctrl D and leave your hand on it, after a while, you'll have all the duplications you need to make this long shadow effect. As soon as we're completely off the page, we can stop. Now we need to view our selection page. So we'll go to Home on the ribbon, go to Arrange and choose Selection Pane. There are all our copies that we're using to make the shadow. 823 of them in total. So we'll go down to the very bottom, which in this case is called Text Box 3. Could be called anything, but it's basically the first one that says Shadow. We'll click on it. We'll now bring it to the front. We're now going to go to text box 3 and turn off the visibility. I should add that editing at this point, because there's 823 symbols on the page, might be a bit slow. But we're going to do something that will make it really fast by the time it's finished. So we're going to select everything that's visible, which will be our 820 odd copies. We're going to go to shape format. We're going to go to merge shapes and we're going to choose union. Now we have our long shadow and it's all one shape, so it'll be very quick. I'm going to turn on the visibility of the text box that was on top. And I'm going to select that. I'm going to make this a better color. I'm going to start off with a red. We might need to adjust this later to get the exact look we're going for. Now we can select the shadow. We can go to shape fill, more gradients, and we can select a linear gradient. I'm going to use this one. I created this earlier. It's basically a hundred degree angle. It starts off with a red and then on the left it's a minus 45 brightness and on the right 61% plus brightness. And what I'm going to do for the shadow text is click on it, choose the recent colour, then go to more colours and just make it a bit brighter so we can see it easily. I'll start with this and see how it looks. That looks pretty good already. Just going to create the background. So I'm going to create a rectangle, snap it to the top. I'm going to make it full page, center back. I'm going to use a similar gradient fill, but in this case, I'm just going to choose a slightly different direction from the bottom left to the top right, which is 315 degrees. So when I play this now, We've got our long shadow. You can see on the W there, it's a tiny, tiny bit of a line. So I'm just going to adjust that by one pixel. So I'm going to click on the shadow and click right once and then play it. Excellent. There's our long shadow effect. And just as a bonus, I'm going to show you how you can now easily change the color of this. So we'll just duplicate the slide. I'm going to go to our middle color here. And I'm going to choose something like this blue. I'm going to set them all to the blue. Then I'm going to add the gradient because this was about minus 30. This was about plus 60. And I'm going to apply the same gradient to our long shadow. Minus 30 here, plus 60 on this side. Now I'm going to change the text. 
and do what I did earlier, or as I make it blue, then I go to more colors, make it a bit brighter so we can clearly see it. Go with something like that, press play. Excellent. There's our long shadow effect. It works really well. You can start it off with any text and you can change it into any color. And that's great that you can do it directly in PowerPoint. Thanks very much. We'll see you in the next video.